Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to take a dive through one of the most popular, certainly one of the highest performance shaft lines in golf. Yep. Uh, bit, of a, bit of a legacy line really, the Diamana line from Mitsubishi. Uh, changed over the years, people used to remember, I remember red board, blue board, white board. Yep. That was the easy way to do it. They've mixed up their naming. They have, the, 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 they've changed it up a little bit and, and now we're really, we're on the fifth generation. Yeah. Uh, of, oh, it's that of, many, okay. Yeah, we've, we've been through uh, a lot. You're right, Matt, I mean, we've had uh, Kylie's, there, there is a Kylie line, but there was a Kylie, there was a Hina, there was mm -hmm. Elima, there was, there was, you know, yeah, many, many, many different versions of this. So um, as materials continue uh, to evolve and, and sort of, really uh, club head technology evolves, the needs of the shaft, the profiles themselves need to evolve uh, accordingly. So I think a lot in, in the industry talked about right now about Ventus, yes. red, black, uh, blue, black. More needs to be talked in my opinion mm. about Diamana. Yeah. Okay. I it think has been all Ventus all the time. Hasn't totally, it? Yeah. yeah. And then that's obviously Ventus is such a large tour presence, oh. but when we look at the Mitsubishi, you know, uh, the Darrow survey count numbers and stuff like that, there's a lot of these in play, okay. and there's just not a lot of talk about it. I think it's easier to recognize Aventus on the team. Agreed. They did a good job with that, the yeah. graphics. Yeah, oh, I absolutely. can't tell unless, if, if a player's kind of here, yep. and the camera zooms in, sure, you can see it. You're 100% right. It actually is, as this video goes on, and, and you're doing the, uh, the, the Diamana MM right now, um, uh, stands for Mike Marty Savage because he absolutely loves it. <laughs> I was going to say, am I missing I was just going to say, <laughs> is that what that says? They're actually talking about renaming it the MM because you love I'm it in. that much. I'm in. Uh, so the, the TB, when you're swinging the TB and the PD, the, the whiteboard version, yes. you'll actually see them to be looking very, uh, very similar. Yeah. And that might be a flaw. Yeah. That might be Fair a flaw. Enough. So like you said, red is very distinguished, are you distinguishable, blue is, and, and obviously black is yeah. as well. And a sharp eye might spot a TR here and there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, okay, why don't we dive in there? This is currently the, the kind of, you know, I don't love to throw these, uh, these kind of expectations on what the shaft should do, but mid-launch, mid-spin profile. Right, blue board. Yeah, shaft. blue board. Okay. Really well. good strike. <clears throat> That's lovely. Good strike. That was lovely. So signature blue board, uh, Matty, is that's very nice, right? I think it's 119, uh, 169 round up, 170 ball speed. Um, yeah, signature blue board is a stable handle, softer kind of midsection and not a particularly st uh, stiff tip section, but stable uh, tip section, if we can call it that. Yeah. Um, you know, once we get into the, the, the new, uh, new st in the line, the GT, which has replaced the ZF, we'll, we'll start getting into a little bit of a stiffer tip section with a soft midsection. So again, trying to kind of manipulate a little bit of the deflection of the shaft in order to try and create the right kind of deflection profile to get everything in line with the, the loft and the strike point, Matty, but that's kind of what we're looking at with this. That's pretty, pretty good, good Matty. Just a bit pull, but yeah, I'd take it. Certainly would. Nothing wrong with it. Certainly would. Um, without kind of leading you down a path here, do you feel anything uh, different in terms of uh, under the handle of this shaft with, with TB, you feel very, kind of normal, very, very standard? I mean, it feels fairly firm under the handle. Is yep. that a characteristic? It is, it definitely is. And one of the ways they do that actually is quite a unique uh, design profile that it is a little larger in the handle. So uh, okay, it, so it's, it's actually a, a butt diameter yeah. slightly larger. So standard butt diameter on a driver, most clubs would be 0 0.600, right? Yep. Uh, uh, so a 600 butt, we'd call that. That would be standard with a with a standard grip, give us a standard size. This is a 640 uh, oh, butt, wow. so quite a bit bigger, equivalent of another three wraps of tape uh, wow, okay. under there. So one of the ways in which we stiffen up the shaft without you know making it particularly uh, you know, or lose the feel in it is just to go a little larger. Yeah. Right. So we widen the diameter of the shaft. It, it makes it harder to bend that particular part of it. So 
again, for certain players, if you think of, like, Sergio has loved, uh, you know, uh, blue boards okay. over the years. His swing's evolved a little bit where he doesn't love it as much now, but something really stable in the handle with a slightly softer tip section mm. is good for really heavy loaders who, who lag it a lot and, and don't really get the loft out on the driver. Which is me, actually, to some degree. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is a nice profile for those players. That's it really well. Might be a little spinny just because yep. I faded it, but really good strike. All right, Matty, this, uh, this for many people will actually be uh, a first time seeing this one. This is, is uh, yeah, Diamana GT. So the a Diamana ZF that was sort of brought out, I, I mean, I don't think it was specifically brought out for Justin Thomas, but uh, Justin Thomas was playing the fourth generation blue board. Yeah. Um, in his titles for the longest time. Started to feel like it was a little bit on the soft side and then they released the ZF, um, kind of, and he played that one for, for quite some time. Okay. So this is, this is the new, uh, the new you know, version of that. This is the, the GT. This has is, this is not had many generations of, of its life. This is right. a second generation of, of this particular profile. Gotcha. So um, I think, again, as the modern golfer, it appears to be swinging faster and, and we need a little bit more of a stout, you know, but great feeling shaft. This, this kind of wraps all of that up in one. Is it just a little bit stiffer overall than the TB? Mostly tip section. Okay, so <laughs> similar top end. Similar top end, similar kind of midsection, <coughs> and it really is much, much, much more tip stable than TB. So, so we might see some fly. I would hope so, and and I think to your, you know, your field preference, yeah. this was leaning more towards what you like. That was nice. Yeah, good swing. Nice so swing. launch went up a little bit there, but spin came down a little bit there. Very different strike. Yeah, yeah moved the strike up the head more. Didn't Just it? a little up the head. That was. That yeah, was very really different. nice. Yeah, I think a good lesson for everyone there that that you know the players who don't carry as much speed, so you can be, in this case, five miles an hour less ball speed, but you can actually end up hitting it quite a bit further. You know, in, in total yardage, 12 yards further with five miles an hour less. That's cool. If you can achieve those specific launch conditions. That's hitting better. I know it's turned over a little bit, but I really like that flight. Yeah. I'd be ecstatic with that on the course. Way more ball speed. Mm. Yeah, I like this one. Who I think that? when I swing confidently, like I don't, wave at it like yeah. i give it a good smack Time, timing looks so much better like the, the feels at the top of your swing i don't know with tb maybe you had to look for it a little bit mm -hmm. more whereas gt just everything's just a1 which yeah. is really nice and those are great numbers mm. yeah i would love those those are fantastic numbers yeah i think sitting in that in that little window right there is is just money for you and, and here's the thing you know we're taking the the, the kind of uh, low or the mid launch low spin shaft and it's mm. actually launching quite a bit higher yeah. than the yeah. higher launch shaft so Smart. I, yeah you know just again matching up profiles for specific swing mm -hmm. types is is the, the more important thing here um, and it's just strike location yep. really is what yep. totally. made the biggest difference in all the dynamics yep all right, Matty, so Diamana PD, um, the traditional, more traditional whiteboard profile, great feeling shaft. It's a bit soft on the handle to allow the profile to stiffen up as the EI curve uh, moves towards the tip section. Okay. Um, quite a significantly stiffer, I call it lower midsection. That's right. actually where the biggest difference is. So yeah, here. in and around there, it, it stiffens up quite a lot. Right. Um, so the shaft has much more play at the top end in the handle. So okay. uh, again, players who maybe aren't uh, heavy loaders and in terms of changing direction really quickly, but have great speed, have great kind of, you know, their, their, uh, their sort of, how they let the angles out in the downswing is, not, is, is constant rather than, than really uh, late. They, yes. they kind of crack the whip. Yeah. If you're that type of player and you have a little bit more of a, of a constant speed release pattern, that would be a great shaft for someone like that. Interesting. That has came out like a bullet. That's it, Well, Turned over a little bit too. It's 
nice. That's another That's beauty, Matty boy. Yeah, launch was, I mean, I think it's just the part of the head you're catching with some of these, it's just right above the equator. It's, yeah. it's really nice. So you're getting good speed, but the spin is staying down quite a bit. Am I correct that this is launching lower, but it spinning is, it lower? It is, yeah. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So you kind of had what we felt was, um, you know, should be the highest launching one in the TB, but it wasn't, but it certainly spun up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then we had GT, which sat in a, sat in a lovely window yeah. for you. And yeah. Just hard to beat that. And then you've got PD, which is definitely coming out flatter. That's a, hit that that's one a cut though. one, but it, it's really nice to show that, I mean, you've cut that, but it won't have spiked the spin or... No, it flew. Know, what was that, probably 24, 2500? 23 and change. All right, perfect. It, it, yeah, it's a sure. really good, you're right, for what probably would have been a 3000 spinner with a different shaft. Totally. You can hit a flat cut with this. That's cool. I, I like that they separated in different ways. I mean, you had more launch, more height from the GT. Mm -hmm. The PD gave you a flatter overall flight, which it's supposed to. Yep. And the TB gave you the highest flight and the lowest strike. So I think, you know, fitters looking at this, I think this might be not really what the consumer needs to see or hear, but if there are any fitters looking at this and you're working with a player and, and you know, the player kind of gives you the, the, the indication that they like to see a little bit of loft. Mm. Okay. So from a conference perspective, yep. you might, you know, and, but you know you need to flatten the flight a little bit, you know, for them. That's where I'd go, okay, PD's great for you. If they like the loft to be down a little bit, maybe ah. you go towards the GT. So depending on kind of what head you're working with, you've kind of got great options in there with those three shafts. It's a very good point, because I, I, li I like the look of this head with 10 degrees. It feels great, doesn't it? It feels very friendly. friendly. But if you can swing a 10 degree head and get 11.5, yep. 2200, I mean, you can't do much better than that, can you? No. You know, this is where, you know, we get into slightly more of the technical part, you know, for those, who are, those of you who are still with us in the video, I mean, Mitsubishi are a vertically, vertically integrated company. They make every single material that goes into the shaft. They're the only shaft company in the golf industry that make the resin, make the you know, pre-preg, they make everything that goes into the shaft comes from within the Mitsubishi family. That's right. it's a very rare thing. So the argument would be when you control every ingredient that mm -hmm. goes into the, the meal, yeah. you, can, you can make exactly the meal that it is you're trying to make. Yeah. It's a good investment, yeah. Right. I think you can totally. be comfortable with buying something that's on the more expensive side. It is. But you know what's going into it. Absolutely. Yeah. We said it earlier, Ventus has taken over, right? Yep. You know, as fitters, you know, I walk through the bays all the time and there's, you know, Ventus is always being pulled. Mm -hmm. If you get fit by me, the amount is always being pulled, <laughs> but that's a different story. But when you're, now that you have done this test, I hope our fitters, you know, watch this one because yeah. you technically have a Ventus reddish TR, Aventus blue, and Aventus yeah, black yeah, I in agree. the TB line, which is nice. So. It's yeah. very true. Yeah, very, good shafts. I good was eight? impressed. Yeah, very yeah. impressed. Hopefully that's covered some of the, the shafts that you were looking at potentially for yourself or, or a product that you were looking at for a driver for next year. The GT, maybe that is your first look of uh, perform in, uh, performance in the GT. I think we did hit it in the the TSI 3 versus <clears throat> TSR 3 we video. Yeah. Um, but we never, we never sort of looked specifically at the no. shaft characteristics that day, so we're, we want to kind of uh, key in on that a little bit. And, and I think with those types of numbers, where the ball speed is good, the launch is up, spin is kind of retained nice and low, and for a lot of people, that's very desirable to, totally. to have that type of high launch, low spin flight. So uh, nice to see it's first go around. Yeah, it did Excellent. great. Okay, stay tuned for more, guys. We will see you again soon.